Hi guys, hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. So today I have here the Elitech Informate. They have it up on their website, so I'm gonna show you how it works and go over a few features on it. And just show you some leak searches and, and certain things like that. So we're doing maintenance. I got a unit in front of me and I just wanna do a quick sweep with it. Make sure we don't have any leaks, any uh, callbacks or anything like that. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so we're finishing up a uh, PM here, maintenance. So just to show you how important it is to have your caps on. Okay, move it away. Let's try that other mode. This is gonna be the graph style. We're gonna have it on high. You gotta keep uh, moving it around. But you can tell they're gonna give you a nice colorful graph. Uh, and on the, on the top is where it tells you how high it went, that little colored bar right there. You can take that off, turn it back on. So remember to put your caps back on if you don't want to call back. Especially if you were doing something that had nothing to do with the charge or it being low on charge, you wanna make sure you don't cause the leak. All right guys, so hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. So we got the uh, unit here. It is a infrared leak detector. Like I said, it's called the Informate. Uh, they do have another name for it. I'll put up the, the, the link to the website will be in the description and I'll put up the uh, way you can order it online. Uh, this works for basically all refrigerants. It does have a high, medium, and low setting. Uh, it is rechargeable. So on the side here, you're gonna have a little flap. You're gonna have your USB-C charging and your uh, port for earphones if you guys wanna use wired earphones. Uh, if you're in a loud area and you can't hear the leak detector or see it, you can be able to hear it with some wired headphones. So let me turn it back on. It does have a 60 second warm up, and you're gonna have a peak button you're gonna have a peak button a mode to go from parts per million to the graph style you can switch back and forth that's your on and off button uh, mute button which I love when they do that because I hate hearing the beep most of the time if I can see the display and then uh, reset when uh, you do have the bar that goes maxes out and you kind of want to go over it again with a different sensitivity maybe then you want to reset your peak or turn it off if you don't want it turn it on you know stuff like that so the build quality is very nice I love that it is very tough so here is the box nice compact box you do get five extra tips that have the filters in them just swap them out and you have a new filter it does come with one of those lights I don't know if you've seen these there uh, has a flashlight and then a UV light so with that, all you have to do is come over here, clip it on, and if you're uh, in a dark area, it can illuminate whatever you're leak detecting, and that way you know what you're pointing at if you can't necessarily see or you have good lighting. So that comes with it. You do get the uh, USB-C charger, uh, cable at least, you don't get a brick, but the cable being USB-C is a nice touch. Uh, Finally, people are going away from the micro USB that is not really great. So glad to see they went USB-C. Also in the box, you do get an extra flexible gooseneck. So if anything ever happens to yours or it's worn out, you get one backup in the box, uh, straight out of the box, it comes with it. Now this box is also really neat. So I appreciate when companies do a good build quality on their products and on their cases. Now, that means I don't have to go buy a pack out or a different kind of box for storage. I can put it in this and put it on the shelf and be fine. I can also take it with me on the job site, throw it in a bigger box or throw it on my uh, cart or anything and, and just take it with me. And it's nice and compact. It's basically just the size of the leak detector because I've had others that give you a way bigger box and it's unnecessary. 
So let's see. So here we go. You have the numerical value for the PPN, the parts per million. That's the default that it, that it goes on to. I, I actually love that feature and I know some of you guys were asking me. When I asked for uh, y'all's advice on what you like in a leak detector, some of you guys told me PPM, uh, which is parts per million. It gives you a numerical number that will tell you how bad the leak is. And you can go by that number and then uh, know what you're, you're dealing with. So if we hit mode, it goes to a bar graph style. So I'll show you that. And uh, that's, you know, your typical low to high bar graph and the peak is at the very top. That we can have a visual representation, but not a, an exact number on a leak. And you have your mute button. So that, that's the tone, it's not too loud, it's not bad, but you can mute it. And then, like I said, if you're on the numerical one, the sensitivity is at the bottom. So you wanna hit this to go between uh, high, medium, and low. So that's cool, you know, you got all that, that stuff. You can reset your peak and change your sensitivity. Good, tough, built. I think it's well built and uh, it looks good. All right, so I'm also gonna show you a couple of other instances where this leak detector has actually helped me find some hard to find leaks or micro leaks and just verif verify some, uh, some connections I made. So I have not had any false readings with this yet and it's given me, or it's pinpointed some leaks that I've suspected. So it's been very good so far. I love infrared and I'll give you a couple of examples where I've used this and it's helped me out. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm gonna pack up. I'm also gonna show you how to set this up with the app. Yes, this comes with Bluetooth and you can wirelessly connect it to your phone using the Ellie Tech app. Now I know some of you guys are like, what, you don't need an app for a leak detector. Let me show you what it can do and then you, you be the judge. It's just a nice feature to have on top of it and uh, just a bonus on this leak detector. Now, they've been asking me to give them feedback on it. I do have an early uh, test unit, basically. So this has not been out yet. And to my understanding, because I just had a meeting with them, I don't think anybody else does either, or I got it first or something like that. So I've been trying to give them feedback on it. Uh, I'm gonna give them a little suggestions on the app. I do think it's a cool feature, but it's something we have to build on. So let me show you what it can do and make sure this thing's gonna have firmware updates too. So that's kind of cool. I love when companies and I mean, not necessarily lead detectors, but like pressure probes from other companies and stuff like that. When they have firmware updates and you can keep your tools up to date as far as software, that's awesome. So they might add little features here and there. They might add sensitivity levels or make adjustments that, that maybe they've had uh, feedback on that aren't great, that they need to work on. So that's cool. This thing has uh, updates over the air and we can connect to it wirelessly. So let me show you that next. All right guys, so it's kind of gloomy outside. So I'm just gonna go over real quick. We have our leak detector here. Have it on parts per million. Now, if you go over to the app itself, you'll see that it pops up there. All you're gonna do is click on it and then it connects 
So from here, you're gonna have your tabs. You're gonna have your parts per million tab, which is basically, it's just gonna give you the numerical value of your leak when you're looking for it. So you're gonna be holding it out, having this propped up somewhere like your phone or your tablet. If you're uh, getting in a hard to reach spot and you can't see it, you can't hear it, you know, we all have those uh, mechanical rooms or, or racks that are super loud. So nice to have a little display. So you're gonna connect their Bluetooth on this side. You're gonna have a graph view. You can take a screenshot if you need to. You can start recording uh, different, as far as like the graph or the, the number, uh, you can start recording and go and play back to see how your leak was, how bad it was and uh, save the data so that you can look at it later or, re or report it or something. Uh, this is just the details. And then you have your settings. So here you have your recordings. You can set up different things for that. Uh, you can check your data. Clear it and then update. So. It'll tell you right now it's on the latest firmware. As you get updates, you can check for updates. And that's a cool thing that you get with a high tech piece of equipment, whether it's probes, uh, digital manifolds, this leak detector, since you can connect it to your app and then your app has internet, basically, if you're on your phone or whatever. And you can check for uh, updates. You don't have to do anything special. It just does it for you in the app and you're good to go. All right, guys, I got to get out of the rain. So this is the Elitech Informate uh, Infrared Leak Detector. Metrum, I think is the other name that they have for it. So go check it out. I'll leave all the links in the description, all that good stuff. Uh, Elitech is usually very affordable. So check out their other stuff. They got vacuum pumps. They got digital manifolds, pressure gauges, all that stuff, micron gauges. So yeah, um, they, are, they usually run discounts on different things also and they are running promotions I, and they're running anything i'll leave it in, in the uh, description they got payment plans and all that stuff so uh, if you want to go check them out like i said check out their website and they have tons of stuff so remember to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys